Right, let's talk Arsenal against Crystal Palace. It's time for the Kia starting lineups. Team news then is in. Robbie, talk us through the Gunners. Well, they've got three changes from the last Premier League uh, match and loss, and Zinchenko is one of those changes, and that's that's a good side, a uh, good sign for Arsenal. He'll come into midfield, of course, and he can play, make, he can create from there. The midfield is exactly the same. Kai Havertz and, and Rice and Odegaard is the midfield that Arteta wanted. That's what he's got, and starting to look a little better. But there is another change, and a big change on the left side there. The top scorer last year, Gabriel Martinelli is left on the bench, dropped, and it's Leandro Trossard, a player that can create, can score from the left hand side. That's a big move, and Jesus has recovered from a, a, a knee injury to start up front. Well, things haven't been going so well for Crystal Palace. Who's in their lineup today, Rob? Well, uh, there's a change of shape there. You can see that it's a 5 4 1. This is the, the system that Roy Hodgson went with uh, at Everton in the FA Cup on Wednesday. It means that Chris Regis Richards, then number 26, who is a centre back, will play in a back three. Klein on the, on, as a right wing back and Mitchell as a left hand side. A midfield two, the holding two of Jeff Lerma and Will Hughes. But there is there's omissions. And again, Michael Issey, the best player really at the club, I think the most creative player, is out. So on that right hand side, Jeff Schlupp will play in the Elise, Elise role on that side. And Berche Eze plays on the left as Jordan uh, Ayu is away um, on international duty. And Jean-Philippe Mateta continues to get the nod up front. Edwards on the bench. And interesting, Sam Johnson is back from injury, but he has to be content with the players on the bench. Dean Henderson keeps his place in goal. This is not a ground that's been kind to Palace. They've only ever won once here. They're in black today, and it's a chance to reset for both these capital rivals. Arsenal needing to show they still belong in the title picture. Palace needing to show they still belong in the Premier League. Here's Tyrick Mitchell onto the head of Gabriel, and then it's Havertz. And the referee blows for the first free kick of the game, and the first thing to say is that it does look like three at the back again for Palace. Yes, it does. It does. Anderson in between. Richards and Gahey. Tyrick Mitchell down the right. Daniel Klein. I beg your pardon, Tariq Mitchell down the left, Nathaniel Klein off the right side, so, yep. Declan Rice across to take this. And it's away from the boot of Rice, there's Gabriel! Bullied his way to the ball and gave the nod of approval to steer Arsenal into an early lead. That's a big goal today. That really is the perfect start, the dream start for Mikel Arteta and his players. And well played the centre half for attacking the ball. Lovely floated delivery, he'll be annoyed. No one ever likes to concede them. You can see Gabriel, he's lost. Chris Richards right on the penalty spot he just spins away from him there towards the back post and the minute Richards takes his eye off the ball he's nowhere he doesn't know where the ball is he hardly knows where his man is now question is he got his arms all over his shoulders is he riding on the back of Richards a little bit I don't think enough I don't think it's enough I think that's a goal well it has of course been scrutinized by the VAR Stuart Atwell Crystal Palace by keeping the ball are trying to hit the officials that there really is a case to disallow it. But the goal stands. Nicely attempting to extricate themselves from a tightish corner. And they've given it straight to Lerma. Oh. Great strike that. It's a poor clearance from David Raya. I'm not sure if he was expecting to get that one back because he kind of rushed the clearance here, look, sort of scampers onto it and ducks it straight into the ground virtually. And it's a really good hit from Lerma, and the goalkeeper then has to react pretty sharp. Flying to his right, makes a decent stop. Again, there's just that unease and uncertainty a little bit with Arsenal's play for me. Saka. Oh, it went an awfully long way far further than it should have done. Arsenal acclaim a second goal. Palace look at each other. One or two questions to be answered, not least defensively. Well, I'm just puzzled as to how the ball can travel that far, almost a yard out. Now, whether someone's been grabbed or 
And clearly the Palace players feel that. He didn't even look totally convinced, did he, Gabriel, when he bundled it over the line. Let's have a look from this angle if we can see anything. Well, I'm not seeing on, on, on the face of it. It's just whether he grabs him and... That's, that's a goal. It comes off Henderson off the back of his head, doesn't it? Unless the goal he feels he's impeded by Ben White. Maybe that's what... Let's have a look. See, that to me doesn't const constitute or warrant a foul or a free kick. Dean Henderson there has got to move himself, get away. He's allowing Ben White to, to stand in front of him and stand in his way and then making out he's impeded. He's not. Shift, move, go and grab it. Well, that's the match situation. 2-0, this VAR check that we're seeing is academic now. Check was completed some time ago. Odegaard in. Richards with the defensive header. Yeah, it's a good header from Richards that time. Leandro Trossard. Havertz, Jesus. Trossard's back for more. Really good play, that. I mean, he's adamant there's a deflection that takes that over the bar. Usually, this guy gets his shots away and gets them on target. Sure, if there was any contact, we'll see better maybe from this close up angle here. Nice first touch. Did it come off the defender's shin there? Can't quite tell, but he knows that that would have been three points in the bag. Had that one have rattled in the back of the net. Right, unopposed. And off go Arsenal. Jesus. Trossard with him, lovely ball, Trossard, cool as you like, 3-0 Arsenal, majestic. That's better. That's what the top teams do. And they get the chance to very quickly go from back to front and pull teams apart. That's excellent play from Arsenal, lovely finish, that's that finish that Leandro Trossard can give you. He's good in those situations, he really is. But that's the, the break of a confident team. Excellent hands from the goalie. Now, can we really go and punish? And the answer is yes. This ball from Jesus is perfect. Absolutely beautifully played. And then it's about showing a bit of composure. First touch is good, second inside. And then he zips it beyond the goalkeeper. That's a really good goal. That'll, that'll do the, the team, the world, a good. That's the sort of goal that Arsenal was scoring every week at the start of the season. Yeah, it's a goal which has the name of Arsenal stamped right across it. And also, in fairness to their beleaguered goalkeeper, David Raya, maybe we've just seen one of the instances as to why he gets the start, because of that distribution that set the whole thing in motion. Let's have a look. Well, they're checking that. It didn't look it, did he, John? Certainly from it the didn't. angle. No. Nope. Now, of course, our angle, we're not 100... I mean, there. No, he doesn't look it at all. No. There's a hint of a green line shown on the screen just for a moment there, which tells us that it is ultimately going to be ruled to be onside, and the goal stands. The Premier League game to come later today between Brentford and Nottingham Forest out in the west of the capital. But here come Arsenal, seeking the grand finale, which Gabriel Martinelli supplies. It's a close call, the offside on this one. It's going to be close, I think. Brilliant finish. Love the ball from Nketiah. And Arsenal fans celebrate. That's a really, really good goal. As they losing the ball on the far side too easily. And four doesn't flatter Arsenal. Just doesn't. It's been so, so easy for them today. An absolute stroll. Look at that, Eze there. I mean, that's just like so easy to giving it away like that. 
And then James Tompkins got a back pedal. He comes to the ball. He should just keep going backwards by himself a bit of time. Doesn't do that. And then the clever ball from Enketia. Martinelli is onto it in a flash. And shapes up to go to that far post. Does it. Controls it beautifully. Tucks it in. Four nil. Tied up and secured an awfully long time ago. And it could get better still for the Gunners. Here comes Martinelli again. Two in barely a minute for the Brazilian. Five for Arsenal as they bounce back to form. Well, it's a shame for those that have left early because they've missed some lovely goals. Carbon copy again, the shape with Martinelli, with which he rolls it in that corner once more. You can't believe it. One thing's, one thing's conceded in the fall. Then make sure you don't do it again within a few seconds. And they're just wide open, Palace. They've lost total belief, they really have. He's going to have to answer a lot of questions, I think, Steve Parrish, in the next few days. Because this isn't good enough. Nowhere near it, and miles away, miles off it. Some are stepping out, some are running back, and got a clue what they're doing. And against good players, you're just going to get done. And it's so easy, this. It's the perfect game. They've been the perfect, the dream opponent for Palace today. Oh, they really have. For Arsenal, sorry, Palace. And that does it. There were 101 seconds between goals four and five for Arsenal. Champagne scoreline, maybe not a champagne performance. It didn't frankly need to be against a feeble, fragile Crystal Palace. Gabriel in the first half, Henderson's own goal. Trossard, two in stoppage time from Martinelli. Significant question marks over Roy Hodgson's immediate future. Arsenal five, Crystal Palace nil. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.